All right, folks, today we are going to talk about what's the best spinning reel for you to fish with in 2019. Uh, what's interesting about this year, um, I'm covering quite a bit of price range here. In 2018, we retired two fishing reels. Um, we retired a Daiwa Fuego LT and a Tsunami Shield, both $100 spinning reels. Um, over here we've got what's carried over from last year and some new additions. Everything I've got here ranges from $50, we've got a $100 reel, a $150 reel, an MSRP like $200 to $235 reel. I guess these kind of fit a certain range for everyone. So first we could talk about the Akuma Pixar. And I've been fishing it pretty hard for I think we're on four months now getting there. And we've caught a lot of like nice redfish on it, we've caught big jack corral. Um, so we definitely caught quality fish on it, without a doubt, and put it in saltwater environments. The drag isn't as consistent as it was right out of the box. Sometimes I'll set the drag in the morning and get it to the, the spot I like, and then on the water it might be a little looser. And there's a little bit more of a wobble to it in the handle area. Um, but overall, man, this is probably the best performing uh, budget reel I've ever used. Retailing around like 45 bucks, uh, I think you get. I think you'll get the performance equivalent of most hundred-dollar reels. This has outperformed the pen battles that I've used in the past. It's outperformed all the other uh, OEM brands out there, like Cash King and Pissy Fun and anything else I've picked up and put my hands on. I'd say this outperformed the Tsunami Shield at 50 bucks for sure. Uh, for, yeah, it's a pretty good quality reel for the, the price. It's well balanced. It does have that plasticky feel for it. Um, don't kid yourself that, you know, that you're going to get the same performance out of this reel as you would a Saragossa or a Penn Slammer, for example. But, like, if I went back to guiding and I was a for-hire uh, person again... I'd probably be stocking up on these reels. I'd be using them for a for higher purpose. They're smooth, they're rugged, um, and they are, you know, 45 bucks. So uh, you can't beat that. Um, do I expect this to last another full season? Probably not. I'm sure the spring bluefish will be this reel's demise. All right, moving up on the price scale, um, I added a Daiwa BG 3000. Um, kind of to replace the Daiwa Fuego LT. Um, a very popular reel. I haven't used it that much, honestly. Um, this season we'll start using it more. Not quite as smooth as the Daiwa Fuego LT. This kind of reminds me more of like a pen sort of reel. Um, but still, I, I could see myself using this for fluke or flounder. Um, I absolutely think this should outlast my Daiwa Fuego LT. However, for a lot of the light tackle jigging, I preferred the feel of that reel and the smoothness of it. For striper fishing, for red fishing, uh, you know, this is pretty much a no-brainer uh, at 100 bucks. At the $150 price point, here's your Spin Fisher 6. A uh, very popular reel as well. Um, probably, you know, we got a Stratic, a BG, a Slammer, and a, yeah, we've got some of the most popular reels on the market here. Um, gosh, how do I feel about this reel? For a lot of the fishing I do, it's actually not right for me. I don't like jigging this reel. For whatever reason, it feels a little unbalanced on a lot of my rods uh, versus the Shimano Stratic and even versus the Apixer. Um, it's got a lot of weight kind of like, I feel like the weight is focused here that when I'm jigging, it's hard to explain, but I've got a lot of extra weight kind of like sagging on the rods that I'm jigging with. And as opposed to feeling the jig working along the bottom or the rod tip, sometimes I'm just feeling the reel way too much. This is not a finesse reel. You know, this is the type of reel I would go out there, if you give me a six ounce sinker and a chunk of bunker or mullet, that's what I would be fishing with. You know, it's gonna get greased up and fish blood and clam. You know, if I'm throwing three ounce lures and it doesn't matter how I'm working them through the water column, just straight cranking through. This is the reel for that. Uh, absolutely agree with that part. Um, a couple of the quirks I've bumped into so far. I've had my line get sucked into the line roller. 
And also, if you check out that Cobia video uh, about a month ago, you, you'll hear there's a lot of extra noise coming out of that reel uh, during a fish fight, a little bit of a squeaky noise. Um, in terms of smoothness, this is not a smooth reel. I don't think it was designed to be smooth. Um, you could probably hear. You absolutely feel that you're turning the handle on your reel here. So it's not a Shimano, it's not a Daiwa, but it's got a certain purpose that I think is right in the fishing world. In terms of how often I'm going to end up using it, probably not very much. Um, I've come to realize I like the I like the Shimano style, I like the Daiwa style, I like the, even the Akuma. But if you're going to tell me, let's head out there and crush 10 pound bluefish all afternoon on top water and they're everywhere and it doesn't matter, this is what I'm going to bring out and I don't have to worry about if I destroyed my reel at the end of the day. Um, so it has that purpose that no other reel you can really argue with in that price range. For 150 bucks, can I slit, you know, let, let's talk like for 150 bucks, can I sling lures at big blues, land a dozen, and probably do no real damage to my reel? This is probably going to be the one. I'm sure if you add more more dollar amount to you and you go with the slammer, you're going to still fill fill that uh that need. But I think at 150 bucks, you know, swinging swinging poppers at blues and walking away with, you know, just giving it a rinse and you're probably fine. There ain't too many reels that are gonna do that. And finally, gosh, we use this reel a lot now. Uh, that's the Shimano Stratic 3000. I absolutely love, I've always liked Stratix. I used to use the old white ones in like 2010 to 2012. The only flaws on this reel, it's the line roller bearings. You're gonna have to change them uh, probably every six months of heavy use. And they make that noise that you might hear in a recent video. It's like a kind of like a coffee grinder a little bit. Uh, but man, the drags are smooth and consistent. They're awesome to jig with. They're light. They're always smooth. I've had no inconsistencies in the reel's performance um, from 50 inch reds to big stripers to speckled trout and lake trout. Man, it really is just, I'm not trying to sell you the two, like the highest price reel, but it, it does everything that I want it to do the best probably, um, with the exception of probably, I wouldn't use this to absolutely torture test through big bluefish or big jack creval. But if it requires any sort of finesse operation out of my end, or you know a little bit of extra skill or lore presentation that matters, uh, this reel is really a winner. Um, I don't feel like I can do what I do with this reel on that spin fisher, for example. You know, it's just, it, it fits my fishing need and style properly. So there you go, that covers from 50 bucks up to 200 bucks. Um, they all kind of do a little bit of a different thing between like the picture being the budget reel, the Daiwa BG, something I haven't really used. It's kind of like the cross between everything I would probably guess. Uh, spin Fisher, more of a rugged performance, the Stratic, the absolute best finesse performance. Finally, I've got a Pen Slammer 4500. I'm only imagining sharks, some surf fishing, and Barracuda. I can't see myself if, you know, maybe if I jump on a boat this summer and somebody puts me on AJs, something like that, that would be, that's what this is for. Uh, for my inshore fishing, not really. I've used the Slammer before. I liked it, so I bought another one. I gave one away. All right, and finally, um, I haven't been fishing with live bait that much. Uh, I generally fish spinning tackle for everything that isn't live bait. I prefer conventional live bait fishing. Um, it's just how I learned. I mean, deep dropping on a party boat, also conventional. Um, still, I'm working on two die with saltists from the cod fishing days. Um, if you're like the saltists, uh, I'd always go the no level wine version. Just don't get clam snot in them, you know, clam baits and squid baits. Try to keep that gunk out of there, but otherwise they'll perform for a long time. Rinse them out. I've rolled these guys in the surf. Just give them a rinse, let them dry out. Still working, re-grease them, no problem. That's the Abu Striper Classic. I believe it was a Striper Classic. I haven't used this reel in a long time, but uh, good entry level. Conventional reel, cast really well, very light. It's 
pleasure to fish with. And most of this other stuff's kind of the older stuff I'm still carrying around. An old Newell from the cod fishing days, an old Shimano Charter Special. Um, I used to loan this reel out, super tough, kind of like the old TLDs. Um, great for live bait fishing, etc. Um, and that's about it. That kind of covers it. Uh, definitely if I had to pick one spinning reel to use from here on out, it'd be the Stratic, hands down. Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with that Akuma as a sub $50 reel. Dial BG, we'll see. Spin Fisher, kind of specific, if you ask me. And uh, all the conventional reels. So uh, that's it. I think we got 10 reels on the table for the season. So we'll see what we blow up and uh, what we end up using the most. Um, and yeah, we'll take it from there. So some of the faves, you know what I'm saying? All right. Hope you guys found that kind of useful. Um, when this Akuma does finally kick the bucket, uh, I'll try to send this over to Nick Tackle Advisors. Out of everything I fish actively on the channel, this reel absolutely gets the most questions versus the Spin Fisher and the Stratic and all that stuff. Um, people do seem very interested in that Apixer, so yeah, uh, you get my endorsement out of it, that's for sure. I wouldn't use it for everything, I still feel like there's better choices, but if you have to spend less than $100, it's the best I've used. And that's it.